Hello Pisces, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Pisces is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It's totally free, doesn't cost you anything. If there's anything you would like me to pray over, or meditate upon, or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Pisces, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. Here's the eon. Judgment, rebirth, reawakening, the baptism by fire, the trial by fire. Okay, I think your life is leveling up. I think that this is the moment where you are getting through this. Yeah, so it could be that you've been uh, undergoing quite a difficult time lately. I think you're coming out of it. Okay, could be that there's been some chaos, some disorder, some turmoil, or a little bit of turbulence in your life. You're coming through it. It's almost done. Yeah, well, let's put this into some context with a few more cards. The chariot. That's like we've been, yeah, like the turbulence, right? We've been kind of on a bumpy road, but it's going to start smoothing out. There's a nine of wands. Very good. A six of wands. Five of cups. Yeah, that makes sense. That is the emotional turbulence there. And we've got the lover's card. Interesting. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, a Two of Wands. A lot of good fire energy already here. The Two of Cups, ooh, very nice. And the Magician, the Mercury energy, the Magus, the Trickster, the Juggler, the Performer. Um, very, very cool. You're coming out of this really um, being a more refined version of yourself. And this, I think... I mean, I think this is going to make you really, really happy. This is someone that now is in charge of their life. It feels this kind of creative freedom. Um, I feel like you are, um, you're just about through this thing. And whatever this lover's energy is, now it doesn't have to be a romantic thing, okay? It doesn't mean that you all are getting married. It might for some of you, yeah. But I feel like this is really you um, realizing that your decision to stick with it is working. Yeah, because this card's all about the decisions that we make and the commitments that we make. Yeah, and it really is that two of cups, that love that glues everything together. So you've stayed committed to your purpose. You've stayed the course. The road got rocky. The road got bumpy. The seas were a little choppy, but you stayed on it. You stayed the course. And at the end, we have this, well, this wonderful success that is this this magician card, the Mercury energy. It's the Lord of Commerce, it's business, it's transactions, it's communication. This is really the skill and the talent um, to put all of your self into something. Yeah. The magician energy to me, it's like the performer on stage. You know, the finally it's showtime, you know. But all the other cards, that's everything that went into the show. The set design, the writing, the lighting, all the stuff, everything, right? The good days, the bad days, the trouble. You're sticking with it, and now it's showtime. Yeah, to me, that feels, this feels like a really, really good energy. Let's select the mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is one random card from the Smith Weight Tarot that we will... We're just going to set it down right here. We're going to put Alien Simon Mork Ripley right there on top. And now we're not going to look at that card until the very end, but it will tie everything together and it will give us the confirmation that we need at the end of this tarot reading. If at any point during the reading you feel like you know what that card is or you have a hunch, put it down in the comments. You know, Let's do it together. Let's make it a group exercise in intuition. All right, let's take another gander around the room. Major, 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 major. So this really, this sums it up, I think, the major arcana. Uh, it's been difficult. You've stayed the course. You've committed to your, you've, this is something that you committed to. You made that decision, and now it's showtime. 
right? This is almost like you're you're traveling to the theater to you know you're the you're the lead uh, in this performance, but it's kind of been a, a rocky road to get there, right? It's been it's been difficult maybe just getting all of the components together for this, like this lover's card. It's been difficult making this thing actually happen. And now that everything's come into place, like all the contracts are signed, everybody's on board, all the actors and stuff that you want are there, um, everything is in place how you wanted it. Didn't, maybe you didn't think it was gonna it was gonna come together, but here it is. It's coming together. It's time for you to go on stage. It's showtime now, you know. I really, really like this energy. I think you're going to be happy. I mean, just looking at the magician card, they look they look pretty darn happy, right? And that's because you are getting to do what you want to do. You are performing in this in this play, really, that you've like you've written and you've produced, and now you're starring in it, right? So this is really the magic of you. Um, uh, succeeding in putting this thing together and now you get to live it and experience it and you get to do it and create and perform and whatever this is for you okay doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be an actor maybe that it maybe it is maybe it's literal you know could be uh, let's see we've got fire 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 even the eon card is some fire energy right we've got water and water and even the chariot is some water energy it's that cancer uh, card. We have so we've got our water energy there. Um, as far as the air goes, we don't have any swords. Well, we got the air here. This is the lover's card, the Gemini card. There's a look. This is air, right? In a way, to me, this is air that is coming together. This is two things that have been, you know, it's two winds that have um, somehow now joined forces. That everything has been glued together, and now it's going to work. Yeah. And the magician really is things working. It's the nervous system, it's the brain, it's the organization, the communication, it's the transactions, it's things working, right? First, everybody has to come together around the table, sort out their stuff, and now it's working. Now things are getting underway. Now, like I keep saying, now it's showtime. You know, um, things haven't always been that great though it's been a rough road this is something in your life that's going to change your life um and it may be you've even started lately you've been starting to feel like this just ain't gonna happen there's just too much like everybody's going in a different direction nothing seems to be harmonizing it's just there's how there's no way right um I got good news for you. It is. And I think you are going to be very, very happy. I don't think you expected things to be this good, you know, um, because this is kind of a, this is a card that is like, we're going through this rough period. It's kind of this trial by fire. We almost think I'm going to have to like, I'm going to have to change plans. I'm going to have to pivot. I'm going to have to figure out something else, you know. Uh, but what I like about the cherry card really is the armor. That's my favorite part of the chariot card. Anybody can travel on a road, but when it starts to get a little too bumpy, most of us would turn and look for a smoother road, right? Whenever the seas get choppy, most of us would go look for smoother seas, right? For a calmer ocean. Um, but you've got this armor on. You, you have this protection around you. And I'm not sure yet where it comes from um, or what its nature is, but it allows you to endure. It allows you to say, this is terrible. I'm so, I'm confused. I'm heartbroken. It's painful, but I can do it. Right? I can do it. You've got this armor on where you're being attacked uh, metaphorically, um, but you're not giving up. Right? You're not giving up. This is, you might, you might come out the other side of this and your vehicle is going to have a lot of dents and broken windows and flat tires, but you made it, right? Uh, you're kind of, you know, just tumbling over the finish line, battered and, and bruised, but intact. Yeah, intact. And I think a lot of that is also this nine of, the nine of wands that we see underneath everything. And this is real, this is strength. And where this strength comes from is your your spiritual connection, the certainty of your purpose. You know yourself. This is sun and moon conjoined, 
there's that direct connection between above and below, between your psyche, really, and spirit, but between your consciousness and your unconscious mind. Yeah. So this is something that you really, it's almost as if you can see the future. You know, I don't know if you consider yourself to be clairvoyant in that way, but I feel like you can. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't appear to you in such a way where it's like obvious, like I'm having a vision of the future. You know, it's not something that really is, is that distinct. It's almost just like a flashes maybe, you know, or uh, maybe something through dreams for you. It could be. But I feel like you just kind of know instinctively that things are, things are going to be okay. It's tough. And I think your, your heart and maybe Maybe part of your conscious mind, though I, I don't think so much that. I think your heart is kind of losing faith, losing hope. But psychically or mentally, you're just like, no, it has to work. It will work. I know it's going to work. Even though our heart's kind of in the process of breaking, right? And that's the five of cups that we see up here. It's like the cards, it's like the, 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 uh, the heart is in the process of breaking, right? But you're still not giving up. And it's good that you don't because things are coming together and it is going to be your time to shine. It is going to make you very, very happy. You are going to get to do what you want to do. I don't know what that means, but I keep hearing that from spirits telling me you're, you're going to do what you want to do. You're going to, you're going to get your time to do your thing, right? Whatever it might be. Six of wands in the past position. Well, that is an interesting card because that's a card of victory. But why is victory coming before the trial, you know? Coming before the, the trial by fire or this kind of fiery doorway? Well, I think this is supposed to let us know that really every moment that we're awake is a victory, you know? That um, this is really the, the certainty that you have, you have won before you have even reached the finish line. You've already won. Because you got up and you did it, and you, you've struggled, and you've tried to do it. And now, on this bumpy road, there's going to be wins, there's going to be losses, there's going to be good days and bad days. We know that. It's kind of like your heart sometimes is breaking. Other times you feel very strong, very committed, and very certain. Um, even during those moments where you feel like all is lost, it's still a victory. Because you're still there doing it. And now you may feel like a failure, but you're not. You may feel like this is hopeless, but it's not. So the Six of Wands is reminding us that we are learning so much about ourselves, first of all, but that we have already won because we are here doing this. Just the fact that we are alive shows that we have, we have, um, uh, we've been victorious over death, right? Or over the gravity that's trying to squish our bodies, right? We've grown these strong bones to hold us up. Um, every breath we take is a victory over the, the contracting forces within our bodies, right? That squeeze the air out of us. So it is, uh, it's a victory just in the making. It's just a, it's a process of that. And um, I almost wonder if there is something to do with acting here. I don't know if maybe you've done some acting in the past or you've made an appearance, um, I don't know, as an extra or something like that. I kind of feel like you've done something like this before, and then maybe it is acting or something with uh, production or television or stage performance or something like that. I feel like you've done it before, but in kind of a background way or like a supporting way, but now this is your effort to be the lead, to be the, the leader of the band or to be in, on the, at the front right, of things. Is that resonating with you? I feel like that's kind of what's I feel like that's what's going on here. Part of the Six of Wands, too, I think, is giving me that impression. That you've done something like this before, but this is like really the big, you know, the big thing, the big deal, right? Um, very good energy. And I think this is really a very good reminder that um, just the fact that you are out here trying to do this is the victory, right? That is the victory. Every moment that you stay on this bumpy road is a win. Yeah. 
So stay the course. It is all going to pay off. Okay. We're going to go to the path of the serpent now. And as I do this, I'd like to ask for your subscription. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it's very helpful to the channel, and I appreciate that. All right, I really do. Okay, so we start with the Queen of Pentacles down here at the bottom. Um, this is this is really kind of a it's kind of a projection of the future, but it's also kind of a nostalgia card. We're almost looking at the past and, um, you know, almost wondering. It's almost like we're on the boat and we're sailing along and we're just kind of looking back at where we came from thinking, should I have stayed back there? Was my life better before? Am I, did I just make my life worse? You know, um, this is like we're and and. Really, it's it's funny because the the queen of the queen of pentacles seems like they're they're sitting pretty, right? They, it seems like they have a, a throne and they've got their abundance. They've kind of got their their world that they've built, but there's still something about the past that we're looking toward. Maybe there's something that you've left behind. Maybe there's something that's still kind of tying you to the shore. Yeah, a connection, a, a, a lost love, some, some sort of longing, perhaps. Um, or maybe this is really just like kind of a, a moment of nostalgia where we just, we think, man, I've, I've really come so far already. Yeah. But there's a reason why right now we're looking at the past, and maybe this is because we're almost at that finish line. And this is that moment right before showtime, where all these emotions and all these memories and all this history starts kind of swelling up inside of you. So it could be that this is that moment, that we're right on the cusp of this big breakthrough, this big win, this showtime, and it's given you that pause where you just kind of, you look back at like where you started, your humble origins, you know, like your hometown, where you came from. You came from just kind of um, from very humble and modest beginnings, but look at what you've built for yourself. Look at where you are, right? So I think this card in some ways is um, reinforcing this commitment and this courage for you, that you have come so far already that by any measure, you've already succeeded. Yeah. Um, but just another couple of steps and, and you're on stage. Okay. Um, so whatever needs to come together in this situation, I feel it, like it, it, is, it is coming together. Uh, the lover's energy is really an indication that you have committed yourself to the right thing. You've hitched your wagon to your very own star, and it's paying off. This is the right, this is the right thing. Um, I'm also getting some sort of f a financial thing here, that there is, there's a financial component to this, especially with the Queen of Pentacles, that there maybe is just... Um, not so much a financial worry, but a financial hope, you know, that if this really, if this does work out, like this is going to set you up for life kind of thing. This is going to fix any financial issues, maybe get out of debt, maybe buy the house or the car that you need, uh, pay for school, whatever it might be, right? Uh, or just give you that financial freedom, the ability to travel. Mercury, the magician, is also the lord of travel, yeah. So I think that this is really, you're like, you're crossing your fingers, you're praying because this is going to really change your life. And this is going to make you happy in a lot of different ways. Maybe a house, maybe travel, but just the, the fact that you have the freedom now to do what you will. Yeah. To create your life in almost any fashion you want, right? It's not unlimited money or resources, but um, in, a, in a general way, you can do what you want with your life. This is going to really make that big difference for you. Okay. We got the two of, of wands here. Um, when we feel like things are not coming together, we almost want to try to force it. Right? We almost are... Um, this is kind of a, a temper. Right? Two, two of wands in the position of the environment. Um, it's kind of like now, I don't know, does, does someone have a toothache right now? Is your tooth bothering you? Spirit's telling me to ask about the tooth. And I wonder if the tooth is really becoming quite painful. And you know when we have something like that, like uh, some sort of a pain in our body, it's like a, 
it's just kind of there, you know, and there's really nothing we can do about it at this moment. Um, it kind of, it makes us a little bit short with others. We get a little snappy, right? We, we tend to be a little more easily frustrated when there's something already bothering us, yeah? So the tooth might be literally a tooth. It might be the idea that something else is bothering you, something unrelated, something that you can't really fix right now but it's causing you to be a little bit more short-tempered with your environment, with the people around you. So be aware of that because we don't want to make this trial by fire any worse. Things are coming together. The road is smoothing out. You've almost reached this kind of the, the, the end goal here. Don't go rock in the boat. It's already, it's, it's rocking enough just with the turbulence of the waves. You don't need to rock it more, okay? Rather than do that, let's do love. Let's do connect. Let's be the glue that holds everything together, right? Be the glue that holds everything together. I feel like sometimes you want the last word, you know? Like sometimes you want to just get that last, like, that last zinger in as somebody's walking, or ri walking away or right before they hang up the phone. You got to say one last, like, cutting thing. Don't do that. Be the glue that holds everything together here because this is your future and I think you're going to be very happy with this future. Um, so the two of, two of Cups is that love. This is that glue that holds everything together. All right. Now let's talk about the magician energy. I feel like you have a lot of talents, a lot of skills. Um, I feel like you probably know several languages. You probably play several instruments. You're probably good at, at acting. You have a, a wide range of like, of things you can do, of skills, really talents and skills. And I say talents and skills because I feel like the magician is the refinement of natural talent. Yeah. And that's part of this earth energy too, is kind of that idea of the uncarved block the kind of natural beauty, the natural quality of this thing. And the magician is what has refined that. So I think that it's really, it's been a matter of you knowing what your skills and ta knowing what your natural talents are and knowing which ones to refine, to hone, which ones to master. Yeah. Spirit's telling me to ask about the notebook. Do you have a special like diary or something? I feel like it's it's either written in another language or it's written in like shorthand or you have your own like encryption, like your own cipher. And I don't know if it's, maybe it's numbers, maybe it's letters that have been, you know, uh, swapped out or maybe it's symbols or something, but it's like, it's a notebook or, or a diary or a journal that not everybody can read because they don't know how to decipher it. You know, something, something like that. I feel like you have all your secrets in there, you know? Um, and at any point in your life, did you work at a school? Because I feel like there is this, like, there is this, um, this sense of, uh, it's a sense of community, but it's almost like the opportunity, like liberal arts kind of thing. Like it's really a lot of, a lot of knowledge it almost feels like, uh, Plato's Academy or something where it's just like, it's a, li it's a lifestyle of learning. Yeah something like that. I don't know why that's coming through, but the magician is a multifaceted energy, right? There is so much going on here, and I feel like this is really you. And I feel like it's important that you stay focused on those aspects of yourself and of your talents and skills that are needed right now, right? Because I feel like you have so many interests, so many skills and talents um, that you kind of just like want to do it all. But whatever this particular thing is, focus on that. Refine those skills. Be the master of your craft right now. You can go master other crafts too, but make sure that this is the one that you're at the like, you're in like peak performance right now. Yeah, because it's going to be showtime, and I think you're going to be very, very happy. Um, and what I'm feeling too is like this is a happiness that you started to lose hope and faith in. You had the, this kind of spiritual or, or psychic certainty of it, but in your heart started to feel like maybe this isn't really going to happen, right? So it feels like it's, a, it's an unexpected happiness. It's a level of happiness that maybe 
you um, you didn't really think was was going to happen after all, but it is, right? So what do I want for the mystery card? Well, happiness. I want a nine of cups, right? I want to see that this has happened and it feels just blissful, amazing, euphoric, better than you thought it would feel, right? Uh, if you have a prediction, put your your answer down in the video, uh, in the comments to the video. All right. I'm starting to get excited. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that beauty. Look at that nine of cups. Yeah. And see, there's in this card too, there's a lot of nine of, there's a lot of cups, right? It's someone sitting like in front of, it's almost like a trophy case. It's almost like they just got all their, all their awards lined up behind them. Right? Maybe the, it's Academy Awards or I don't know what other award, Emmys, Grammys. I don't know. I don't watch the award shows. Um, but I feel like you have all of these accomplishments and it's just, they're just going to keep stacking up. You know, this might be the first big one, but it's not the last. The Nine of Cups is you living the dream. This is the dream that keeps on dreaming. This is the happiness that keeps on happening. So it's not a one and done process, it's going to continue right? It's a function that you're in now. It's a flow that you're part of. Yeah. Um, this is really, really spectacular. I love this energy. We are going to do an extended reading. Okay. If you want to stick around for that, there should be a link up here in the corner. If not, there's one down in the video description. All right. New readings for Pisces every Thursday and Sunday, but I'm here every day. Just come on back. See me again tomorrow. All right. Let me know how this is going. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Totally free. doesn't cost you anything. Leave a comment for me. Let me know. Well, let me know where in the world you're watching from. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like you're a bit of a traveler. I do. I want you to know that you're the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you, and I love you. And we're all in this together. <laughs>